Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Thursday, February 22nd, 2024, the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 through 19. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection People give all sorts of answers to the question of who Jesus is. No figure in history has provoked more comment or more debate than Jesus Christ. And it's fair to say that in every case, how we answer the question of who Christ is determines how we live our lives, the values and moral convictions we will have, the hope we have for the life to come, the charity and service we live now in our daily lives. All of this is inspired by the stance that we take on the person of Jesus. Who do you say that I am? It's a question that necessarily involves a commitment on our part, the answer to this question requires a change in our attitudes and our behavior. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter, and for Peter, this was a moment of true openness to the grace of the Holy Spirit. He grasped in a moment that Christ was no mere prophet or enlightened teacher of moral truths, but something much more. He was the Christ, the Savior, and not only the Messiah, he was the Son of the living God. Jesus was equal to God in all things. This profession of faith would change Peter's life from that moment on. In the Creed, we profess the same faith as Peter did. Every time we receive the Eucharist, we join our response to that of Peter. We believe you are the Son of God and there is no salvation by any other name. In his profession of faith, Peter would become the rock, the foundation of Christ's church. When we profess our faith, Christ also gives us a task. We're made apostles and sent out as ambassadors of Christ to the world. Our stance before this truth has consequences. We must be consistent with our faith each day. So, in this season of Lent, let's ask ourselves what changes this faith requires of me today. Can I continue to be the same as I was before? And so today, let's pray for the conviction to live a life that will allow us to give witness to Christ who is the Son of the living God. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary 
in a series of daily Catholic prayers.